hey welcome back to my channel this is learn to sew with nani today i bring you an exciting tutorial on how to make this beautiful maxi of the shoulder ruffle dress right so i have my fat brick folded into two and also along the length now my length is 60 inches okay i joined it because i'm carried by 45 i joined it to get 60 inches so like i said the full length is 60 inches and i want an all the shoulder dress that is by minus four all right so instead of taking out four inches from my from my fabric i left the four inches because i'll be needing two inches at the upper part to make my elastic casing and two inches at the lower part to hem the bottom of the dress so that's four inches so instead of taking out the minus four i'm leaving the four inches inclusive right so from the upper part i'm marking two inches and two inches is for my elastic case and i'm working with an elastic band of one inch so i'll fold in half inch first then fold one and a half to give me my elastic casing okay so when we get to that point i'll show you how to fold so this two inches is my elastic casing so all my measurements will start from that two inches remember i said i want an off shoulder that is minus four so i'm placing my tape at four inches at that point that i marked for my elastic casing okay so from there i'll start taking all my vertical measurements this is my chest line which is nine inches i'm making a mark at nine inches my half length is 18 inches so i'll make a mark at 18 inches then the next would be the length of the dress like i said the length of my dress is 60 inches okay from the shoulder to the length of the dress that's without even taking out the off shoulder is 60 inches so this is 60 inches then the remaining is my two inches hemming allowance right so what i did was to maintain my full length sort of just cutting out four inches from the upper body so i just maintained my full length and that's off of the shoulder by four inches made up for my hemming allowance of two inches and my elastic casing now at this upper part which is the shoulder i'll mark half of my shoulder measurement plus three inches my shoulder is 16 divided by two that's eight so i've marked eight inches plus three inches okay so it means i have um four inches from this side all right so um on this part which is the chest line i'll mark the bust divided by four okay the bust divided by four plus three inches okay then the remaining one inch is my side seam allowance then i'll connect it like so so i'm adding extra ease of three inches because it's a monkey dress and at the shoulder point we'll be needing elastic casing to shrink it back to our original bodies or, or the original original measurement so this is just all you have to do like guys this is all once you've done this you are done you can make this dress within 10 five to ten minutes okay so just because i'm making a video that's why it's taking me this long but within 10 minutes you should be done with making this dress okay so i just cut out and that is it and this is for the front and back because i folded the two fabrics okay i folded for the front and the back placed them on each other then drafted so guys that's just all okay so you can add between three to five inches to your measurements depending on how big you want this to be okay at the end of the video i'll show you the fitting on my body so you would see how it is and for you you can decide to add as much ease as you want now this is my fabric for the sleeve and it's 11 inches long and you can make yours as long as you want i have limited fabrics so i'm making use of uh, what i have now my round shoulder that i'm working with is 50 inches right we're cutting the sleeve now okay so the round shoulder is 50 inches then remember we made eight inches for the front okay so eight times two because the front is folded into two that's 16 that's for the front another eight times two for the back that's 16 this is for the back now i'm going to add them together and i'll get 32 so 16 plus 16 is 32 i'm not including the three inches is allowance right i'm just making you know i marked that for my shoulder before adding the three inches allowance right so remember round shoulder is 50 so 32 now is my upper bust circumference so i'm going to subtract 32 from 50 to get what i'll use in drafting my sleeve remember eight inches for the front and it's on fold so that's why it's 16 for the front and back so 50 minus 32 gives us 18 so this is my fabric right here okay now what would i do because i'm going to have the front and the back sleeve okay sorry the left hand side of the sleeve and the right 
right, right hand side of the sleeve and it will fold it into two so the two of them will make four folds so 18 divided by 4 would give me 4.5 Okay, so 4.5 would be the figure I would use in cutting my sleeve. Please, you can rewind and watch that explanation so that you can get it um, better. Right, so from this part, I'll come in by 4.5. Remember, that's the figure we got. So from my from the center point of my fabric, I'll mark 4.5. Then add my 3 inches ease allowance. This is very easy. Like, this is the easiest tutorial on my channel. This is, my, this is the easiest tutorial so far. So what will I do? I'll just get back my, my main bodies, okay, then place um, like so. From that 3 inches is allowance, just list it like so to get the armhole. Guys, can you see how easy this is? You can just decide to trace your sleeve, your armhole, or just come in with your scissors and cut it out. Guys, it's as easy as this. I'm not sure I have a tutorial that is this easy right here on my channel so just cut out and you have your sleeve and your main bodies how cool is that guys so if you're watching till now and you like what i'm doing please consider subscribing to my channel try to turn on your post notifications so that each time i upload a new video you'll be notified and please share this video with your friends try to like it so that we'll get more visibility on this channel i love you thank you for subscribing to my new subscribers you're welcome thank you for joining my sewing family and community i love you thank you for joining us right so these are my sleeves this is for the left hand side and the other is for the right hand side you can see so these are the two sleeves like so so remember that my seam allowance is one inch right so i'm just going to get to my my bodies or my dress to show you how to join okay so this is it all right so i'll just open up my fabric right sides facing right sides okay you can see right sides facing right sides right like so so i'm just going to sew down with one inch on the two sides right now you can also decide to attach a pocket to yours okay whenever you're making a maxi dress try to attach pockets it's it helps uh, with the fitting it helps in fitting the dress very well because it's a maxi dress like so when you put your hands inside it's just going to help give fitting to the dress now i'll be using this uh door face satin for my um for my pocket and if you have your remaining fabric you can use it for your pocket but like i said i have limited fabric so i'm using the same color i'm using a shade in the fabric right so i want my pocket width to be eight inches now this is supposed to be enough to for your hands to pass through eight inches is enough you can see so when you mark eight inches you cannot put your hands inside spread it apart so that your hands can fit into your sleeve properly then you now trace it like so okay to that eight inches you can do between seven to nine inches but i like to do eight inches so that the sleeve is not so sorry so the pocket is not so wide i don't do seven so it's not so small i just do eight okay so that it's not so wide right so after cutting that i'm going to also fold the fabric into two as well because i want to get the points where i'll attach my pocket to right so this is my half length 18 inches i'm going to measure that to be very sure remember minus four so i'm placing four at that my starting point so this is 18 now i like to place my my pocket at one inch before the half length okay so one inch before the half length i've made a point i've made a mark there i'm just going to put hold the fabrics together okay hold it together and notch okay so this would help you know where to fix your pocket like you're not going to have uh, one side bigger or longer than the other when you notch it together you just place your pocket on it and so okay so that's the essence of the notch because if you start measuring you might have um discrepancies right so i've made a notch there so i'll just get my pocket what you do is to place it let the right side of the pocket face the right side of your fabric there you go and stitch with half inch seam allowance afterwards you top stitch on the pocket okay you do this so that the pocket doesn't poke out of your dress okay when you're wearing it you can see some dresses that when you attach the pocket it's poking out so this is what you would do attach the pocket like so like i've placed it so with half inch and make sure you top stitch very very important right so i'm done attaching my pocket you can see and i've also sewn my dress 
like I said, you should sew with one inch. That's the same allowance I allocated. So you can see from the armhole, one inch. Then when I get to where I attached my sleeve, I'll then come in and sew all the way around. Come back inward at one inch, then sew to the length of the dress. I did the same thing for this other side. Right, so um, the dress is almost ready. So this is my sleeve. So what I'll do is to do, go and stitch on my sleeve. Like I said, about one inch in my allowance. So I'm just going to stitch one inch down then on the hem i've hemmed the bottom of the fab of the sleeve okay then what i did was to mark my round sleeve measurement plus one and just to give it a bit of ease okay so that's what i use at the hem of the sleeve my round sleeve measurement plus one inch so i'm going to open up my sleeve now like so open it on it to the right side because i want to attach the sleeve now to the dress okay so i'm opening my stitch point okay where i've made my stitches and i'll open it up and match it up with the side seam okay i've matched up the side seam of the sleeve to the side seam of the dress okay then when i put it up you can see that everything is matching that's the reason why you should use your dress to um make out your sleeve okay use the armhole of your dress to make your sleeve that way everything is going to match so i'll just go and sew it round with half inch and do the same thing to the other side of the sleeve all right so what i've also done is that afterwards i'll go and overlock you know weaving okay i'll weave it all around and you can see i've also hemmed the bottom of my my dress i've hemmed the lower part okay so i just go to my weaving machine weave it all and attach the sleeve like i've done that okay so you can see my pocket and it's enclosed inside okay it won't be poking out you can see how it is that's because we top stitched it and i've not yet ironed and everything is laying flat like so so that's the essence of top stitching so you can see what we have really beautiful so um the next thing would be to uh, make the elastic casing for the upper part for the shoulder area okay so like i said um, we're going to make elastic casing i've overlocked my edges okay so what i'll do would be to fold in half inch first then fold in 1.5 inches remember my elastic casing is two inches so you fold in half inch first then you're not folding 1.5 you can see what i have here is 1.5 okay fold in half inch first i'll do it again half inch first then 1.5 half inch you can use the iron to hold it down then you fold 1.5 like so you can see i'm also measuring to be sure this is 1.5 right i can always eyeball it i don't need to measure so what i'll do is just to go and run a straight stitch all the way around then leaving a gap of two inches that will be my entrance point to um, attaching my elastic right so make sure you overlock before you do this you can see i've overlocked i've weaved we call it weaving here of uh, overlocking so you can see i've overlocked the inside of my dress and everywhere is looking really clean and i'm cutting out the excess threads you need to you need to do this guys okay so you can see i've sewn the upper part with 1.5 I've, I've folded in half inch first so you can see my entrance point you can see so i'll then get my elastic casing okay so this is the elastic i'll be making use of and it's one inch uh, long okay so you can see the length of this elastic is one inch that's why i said you should make an elastic casing of 1.5 that way the remaining half inch is going to be ease and allowance for the elastic to roll around um, the shoulder okay you don't want it to be tight and it won't be moving around so that half inch is ease allowance now from your elastic you're going to subtract 10 inches you know it's elastic so you wouldn't use your exact um round shoulder measurement so you subtract 10 to 12 inches from your round shoulder measurement my round shoulder is 15 is 50 so minus 10 that's 40 so i'm using 40 inches as my elastic okay you can do 12 inches if you want it to be a little bit snatched and fitted along the shoulder you can see i have 40 inches okay for the length of my elastic so i'll come in with my safety pin like so pin it inside uh, the elastic casing and lock up the safety pin right so remember my entrance point of two inches i'm going to pass the elastic casing the elastic into the elastic casing okay through that entrance point so you need to watch your seam allowance okay what the, the the direction of your seam allowance and walk towards that direction so i've placed my uh, safety pin 
inside my entrance point and i'm moving it like so so this is how you attach your elastic band into your elastic casing okay so be moving using be using the safety pin to move inside the casing like so so i just gonna do this all the way around the fabric okay all the way around the shoulder area okay you keep doing it keep pulling it out and when you get close to uh, your entrance point you're going to make sure you hold down the remaining elastic because if you pull too fast or too strong it's just going to get back into the elastic casing and you will start from the beginning so you can see i'm holding one end of my elastic casing i'm holding that one end because if you do anyhow you just see anyhow it will just enter inside the arm and you start from the beginning all right so um you keep pushing keep pulling it out till you get to your entrance point then you pull out your safety pin okay so when when, when you're doing this you, you make sure you are um distributing the pleats the ruffles not pleats guys the ruffles okay you make sure you distribute it evenly okay so that it goes round uh, the shoulder area so once you are as you're bringing out the elastic you are dragging it and adjusting so that everywhere it's uh, properly done you can see so i'll just go and pin it down together so that it doesn't one doesn't escape okay so that even if it enters into the dress i know that once i pull it out i still have my elastic casing inside all right so this is it so what i'll do is just go and distribute the ruffles evenly you can see what i'm doing like so you want to make sure that the ruffles are evenly distributed i'm saying this one over and over again okay so once you've pulled and you know made sure that everything is in good shape right you can see you can see what i'm doing right so once you're sure that you've distributed the, the ruffles you would not get out your remaining um elastic okay take out your safety pin okay so you take the remaining elastic then overlap one on the other like so okay i'm still making sure that I've, I've distributed these ruffles okay okay so look at look at what i'm doing i'll make sure that i overlap one elastic on the other you can see so i'll go and stitch okay i'll use my stitch my sewing machine to make reverse stitches multiple times on it okay i'll do it in three places just to secure it so you can see i secured uh the one side the two sides and also secure the middle part so that it will not move around or it will not cut while inside the dress so you can wear it as long as you want to wear this dress for and till you are done wearing the dress you wouldn't have issues with your elastic band cutting while it's inside so that's why i had to secure it in three places using my reverse stitch on my sewing machine right so once you do that you have to now evenly distribute it okay that means all the elastic casing has entered into all the elastic band has entered into the elastic casing okay so you can now go and you know stitch close up your entrance point like so so make sure you cut out all your excess stress so i'll go to my sewing machine and close up my entrance point okay and cut out my excess stress distribute the ruffles evenly and you can see what i have you can see the beauty there so beautiful so so beautiful guys i hope you enjoyed making this dress with me okay so this is it this is what it looks like you can see so i would go and you know put it on and show you exactly what we have done here it is really beautiful i hope you liked it i hope you learned something new this is beginner friendly so if you're a beginner you can try it you can either make yours long or short right guys so this is me rocking it i'm your model <laughs> i hope you like it subscribe for more tutorials i love you Baby,
know they wind up She don't know me as if she they call me but she love up Every time I look at she I love me, love me love her Every day somebody never me all over mm, Yeah, I'm a no one